hello guys welcome to this video let's know how to make a Gantt chart so I have prepared a sheet 2 in which uh, I have mentioned the initials the start date the day is remaining the day is completed and the end date of the each uh, individual so uh, let's start and uh, make the Gantt chart the end date uh, you can change the type of the dates from here uh, by going into this uh, column in excel and then you can change it we will keep it without the year so we again go there and we do it this so next uh, we will insert a bar graph of this type now we will uh, in, uh, we will uh, Put, select the data source select the series name let it be the start date that and that is the hair then we will select the column uh, the start date and now I have selected the start date and my graphs come my graph is here now further I have to uh, let me enlarge this uh, graph for you so that you can better understand it so now uh, we shall change the this axis the y axis and for that we have to again uh, select the data that is select data then we go on edit access label range uh, we select literature analysis offer and acceptance the whole column from here okay there's some problem so we will select the whole column and we select it right now some problem exists so we have selected the column finally so uh, it is uh, done the axis label is there the horizontal axis label and now you can see the maintenance feedback and improvements and repairs are there uh, further now we will add the days remaining and the day is completed so let's go and select data again uh, make sure that you click on the right uh, white portion so days remaining sorry for my spellings uh, days remaining days completed days completed edit we will edit it, its uh, length the days completed are 5 and 2 you can change the values as per your convenience I have used this for my project now we will say these come remaining now we will select the range again the range is here and we have it so the graph is done now the magic starts uh, we will just go into the colors and select it to white no color so uh, all the color goes and you have simply the green and the red portion left now you will format chart type go in uh, now you have to change the order of this so we'll go into the access option the categories in the reverse option order and now the literature so analysis comes to the first point so now you can see the dates are still an issue for us it starts from 13 October and 2 November uh, it's not according to our what we are using the dates so we will try to edit these dates so let's see how we can edit, uh, edit these dates format axis and here in the access option you have to uh, put the fixed value of the date though, but the value is very uh, different 422299 zero something so let me get that value for the date we want that is 1st November so uh, 1st November we want so let's copy the 1st November to this board and then 1st November we will copy it paste it here then go into uh, journal and here comes the date value that we need so it's four two three zero nine so we need to uh, we need to put this value into that uh, option into this fixed option that we have so let me copy the value and 
close this thing and let's copy the value and um, substitute it there so let's copy the value Switch. done copy and then we go ahead format access we put the fixed value of our uh, chart and here we have uh, we will simply close it and the magic is done one first November six November days are according to our uh, wishes now we have to remove uh, that uh, start day legend because it shows the white color so just simply delete it so now your uh, is uh, Gantt chart is ready you can change the colors or what type of uh, color combination you need you can do all those things and as soon as you change the data values you will get your own uh, Gantt chart so Gantt charts are very important for the presentation so thank you guys please subscribe to our channel